What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we'll be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Chucky, a video game update related to Chucky. We'll be talking about Scream 7, just speculating a little bit there. We'll be talking about Welcome to Dairy, and then we'll round it out by talking briefly about the Jeepers Creepers lawsuit that's still ongoing and has a very disappointing update. Just to kick it off with Chucky, Chucky Season 3 should be going ahead to finish filming sooner rather than later now that the SAG strike has been resolved. But while we wait for part two of Chucky season three, if you're a fan of Dead by Daylight, there's some good news. This comes from Belated Disgusting. Behavior Interactive has announced via IGN that Chucky from Child's Play will be joining Dead by Daylight on November 28th. Best of all, Brad Dorf will be reprising his role as the voice of Chucky in the new DLC, as well as Jennifer Tilly voicing an alternate variant of Chucky with the good gal costume inspired by Bride of Chucky's Tiffany. The trailer that teased Chucky's arrival that I saw hyped up uh, everyone's favorite little friend while concluding that they are not responsible for any of the shenanigans that Chucky gets up to that we know he's going to get up to, which I thought was funny. Behavior has even included Chucky's human form and Charles Lee Ray into the game, assisting him in spirit form to assist him in hooking survivors as well as interrupting them while they're vaulting or repairing. Lastly, Chucky's scamper ability lets him leap through windows and move under pallets now now i haven't played dead by daylight honestly in quite a while it's been a few months but i'll give it a try before the year is up just to experience this new edition if i find time for it because i do think that this is a great addition to the game they did tease it a few days ago or a day prior with an outline of what resembled the knife that was featured in the background of the chucky season one poster so i know that was like with the dead giveaway for a lot of people because i was immediately thinking that knife looks like it belongs to chucky and sure enough look what news came out diving into scream 7 scream 7 might begin filming as soon as february now that's just me speculating but it might begin filming as soon as february if paramount of course still has this as a top priority because the reason i say that is melissa barrera recently dropped out of another horror project According to the reports, the project she dropped out of had secured a SAG interim agreement so it would have been able to go into production in March whether or not the Screen Actors Guild strike had been resolved by that time, which we know it already has been resolved. Barrera dropped out, though, over scheduling issues, and the fact, the fact that it was going to start filming in March makes me go, okay... The only project I can think of that she would have had to drop out for if it's eyeing in early 2024 as filming start time would be Scream 7 to me. That doesn't mean she doesn't have other projects that could be filling up her schedule for that time. But of course, I'm going to go right to Scream 7. Uh, I'm just speculating again how early this Ghostface return might be looking to get cameras rolling next year. Of course, they could always shoot the film during late 2024, but from what we have been hearing the rumor in the rumor mill, I would argue that Paramount still wants to try to get this movie out as soon as possible and that it is still one of their top priorities. Also, for everyone asking, yes, I have heard things that are new related to Scream 7. Some stuff I was starting to hear back as far or as early as this past summer. Just was not talking about it. Stuff about Sydney and Mark Kincaid's involvement. Yes, yes, heard all of those things. But until Nev and Patrick sign on, until there's something officially announced that tells me that Nev will be back and that Patrick will be back, there's nothing I really want to talk about there. I just need Sydney to have purpose beyond she's been in every movie, so let's keep the streak up. No, it's more than just a streak of appearances. Give her something to do or don't use her. But I trust that they have come up with something very worthwhile in the long run. Now, diving into Welcome to Dairy. Welcome to Dairy was supposed to arrive next Halloween, according to HBO CEO. Who provided this update last week stating we had had welcome to dairy scheduled for halloween 2024 but it will likely be pushing into 2025 uh said ceo casey bulls or Blois. now that the strike is over though deadline reported that this show is being fast-tracked to resume filming i mean as it should if everything was ready to go and the only thing holding it up was the actor strike all of this news coming out with all of the shows and films is good news. Not just for Walking the Dairy, but again, for every project that is also being fast-tracked to start resuming filming now that we are out of the darkness. Walking the Dairy again will serve 
as a prequel to Andy Muschietti's two films, respectively from 2017 and 2019, with Muschietti also expected to direct a few episodes as well, including the pilot episode, I believe. Uh, we already know the cast. We know that it's expected to dive into Pennywise's origins. Bill Skarsgård's involvement is still not really clear. Granted, Jeff Snyder uh, has stated he's heard that Bill should be back, but we'll see if that actually sticks or if it holds any truth to it. Now, diving into the last thing here, with jeepers creepers it's been a while but i just wanted to give a moderate update on jeepers creepers for those that care i want to start off with some unfortunate news unfortunately we did lose brandon smith right before halloween he starred as sergeant tubbs in the first and third film i hope that his family and friends are able to find peace during this hard time and i do want to say thank you to smith for being a part of one of the best horror experiences or one of the better horror ex horror experiences that i got to endure during my childhood now jeepers creepers 4 that is still tied up in a lawsuit that was set to be resolved in early 2024 you guys have heard me talk about this numerous times but now a quick glance at the updates revolving that revolving this trial that's ongoing reflect that this is dragging on into september of next year and at this point i'm just like okay I'm throwing my hands up in the air because this, this is just sad. This is very sad. No longer can I blame the creator for this going forward over and over and over again. You can I can only blame him so much. He has no say on whether this series succeeds at this point. But doing business with the wrong producers obviously can. And that's clearly the problem that this franchise has. Because look at where we've ended up with who the franchise is now, who, whose hands are now involved with the franchise. These people are not trying to do anything worthwhile with the IP other than maybe just milk it for what it's worth. They don't really care about maximizing the profit, just bringing in enough to enrich them, enrich themselves. We had the allegations surrounding them about crew members losing homes and all that stuff. It's just a mess. And then the constant lawsuits, when you look up their names, it's ridiculous. This franchise is really just in the dumpster with these people involved i can't keep going to the creator i have to look at the producers i have to blame them i'm not going to hold my breath for a fifth one but remember these same people do want to make a five the writer from four has actually talked about the fact that that's in the cards but we'll even see if they even move forward with that let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me see any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.